What is up guys, it's Jake back here with another video and today we're going to be taking a look at a Lamborghini hoverboard. No, this is not a uh, falsely advertised hoverboard because it glows and is chrome gold. It is a real Lamborghini hoverboard and it has been authenticated by Lamborghini themselves. Let's take a look at it. Alright, so some of the things that stand out right away when you open the box is just how really well constructed the packaging is, as well as how heavy it is. It weighs about 40 pounds, note. Back to build quality, the build quality is really, really good on this board. The plastic is incredibly solid. You're not going to break it by hitting something. It's very, very good. There's a lot of rubber on the board as well, on the foot pads. It's really thick, durable rubber, so I wouldn't expect that to wear very easily either. Going on to the riding experience, um, it feels just like any other hoverboard, but there's more customization with the app and I'll talk about that later on in the video. There's a lot of ways you can customize it to your riding style and your preferences. You can set a speed limit if you're new to the hoverboard world. It's it, it's open for anybody, beginners or pros. The first thing you do notice when you first turn the board on though is the fact that it makes a Lamborghini Aventador noise when you start it up. It sounds like a cold start. It sounds really cool, but it can get annoying after time. So if you want to, you can go into the app and turn it off. But take a lesson anyway, because it's still pretty cool. <laughs> Me being childish uh, and a car enthusiast, I had to enjoy that. The next thing that kind of proves that it's an authentic Lamborghini hoverboard is the wheels. These wheels are straight out of a Lamborghini Aventador S, and I have a picture of it right here. Okay, these ones are silver. The ones on the hoverboard are black, but it's hard to show them in black on here. But yes, very, very authentic. It even has the little Lamborghini logo in the middle, saying Automobili Lamborghini. I'm not sure if I said that right. I am not from an Italian origin. Getting on the board, you notice that the ride is very, it feels a little bit stiffer than a normal hoverboard would. Um, I think that's part of the build quality, first of all. Also, when you lean forward, there's a lot of responsiveness. Steering sensitivity is perfect. You can adjust that in the app as well. A, a lot of really nice aspects to consider when you're looking at this hoverboard. Again, back to Lamborghini features, the tail lights are awesome, okay? Now, the tail lights and the turn indicators on a LP700-4 Lamborghini Aventador, and I think the new ones still have this, look like this, okay? They look like that, and then when you look on the hoverboard, you'll see the close to the same thing, except only one of these, but still, really, really awesome attention to detail on their part. The front lights also have that. Um, it's hard to remake front uh, headlights on a Lamborghini and put them on a board. So they kind of went with the same design except a little bit slimmer and in white, but it still looks really, really good and it stays consistent to the design of actual Lamborghini vehicles. This car is definitely more Aventador based as you'll see later when I turn on some of the sound effects. That's right, it has sound effect. Definitely more based off the Aventador than it is the Huracan because you can hear the V12 when you start it up. The wheels are Aventador wheels. You cannot get those on the Huracan. It also has the tail light of an Aventador. There's a lot of Aventador aspects, which is a lot of people's dream car. So if you know a car enthusiast, this is the hoverboard for them. It also comes in four different colors. You can get it in yellow, carbon fiber, orange, or black. And mine came in orange, and it's really accurate to what an actual Aventador paint job looks like. Again, um, I'll use the same picture. No, I won't. I'll use this picture of an Aventador SV. You'll see that the orange, it's kind of hard to pick up on camera, but the orange on the board is almost as uh, perfect as the orange on the car. All right, I'm gonna switch to some B-roll now of me riding it outside. Unfortunately, I'm sorry, I didn't get to get a lot of riding clips outside because it's cold out 
and there's snow and something else to mention it has an ip54 water resistance and dust resistance rating meaning that it can take some splashes and some dust hits but you should not wade in water very high like up to the charging port is kind of where i would recommend you stop even lower than that just don't have it touch the bottom of the board dust is the same way obviously you can bring it in dirt a little bit ride it on trails but don't like go to the middle of the desert and Going back to what I was saying, we're gonna cut to some B-roll of me riding it outside. I do apologize again, it was snowy. I can't ride it outside a lot, but I got as much as I could. Yeah, after that, we're gonna cut down to me in the basement, and we're gonna talk a little bit more about the app and its features. Let's go. So normally by this part of the video, I'm saying thanks for watching, uh, buy the product, and then not upload for another four to six months. Don't get me wrong, I'm gonna do all of those, but first I need to show you the coolest feature of this hoverboard, and that is the app that comes with it. This app actually works, unlike the other hoverboard. Again, works better. And it's really, really cool. First, let me start it. You'll see I have a GoPro down here, so I'll do it on here actually. When you start the hoverboard, I'm gonna go over some of the features of this. You can control the lights. As you can see, they turn on and off. Most of these features you'll never use, but if you really want to be annoying, you can you can push the horn, I, I guess, I, I, I don't know. And then you can also fire up the, the monstrous V12 underneath the hood of this hoverboard. As a car enthusiast, I have to admit that sounds pretty good. It's an actual Aventador recording, so. Okay, so the rest of this, you kind of have to be like moving to show you, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna switch over to the uh, the GoPro audio completely. I'm sorry if the audio is really, really bad on the GoPro. Um, sorry about that, hope it's okay. Welcome back. I did never intend to make this video, or this portion of the video, but um, the camera audio on the GoPro is so bad that you can't even understand what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm gonna narrate this as we go. I'll point out the important parts of the video. So this is kind of me uh, demonstrating how the app works. Some of the features that I go over include the speedometer, which I'm pointing out right now. Yeah, so you can even see when I start moving, the needle on the speedometer begins to move as well and it gives you a speed readout. And you can change that to uh, kilometers per hour if that's what you prefer. I was riding in my basement. Sorry, I didn't get to go very far, but except for back and forth. I think the top speed on this hoverboard is about 10 miles per hour and I was doing half that and it felt terrifying. Uh, here I go into the mode settings. Let me talk about these for a second. Strata mode is, these are all modes that are actually on a Lamborghini steering wheel as well. Uh, different driving modes. Strata mode is beginner mode or just kind of the regular street mode if we're referring to the cars. Um, that's more for beginners, it softens it, uh, you have to lean forward a little bit more to get a response out of the hoverboard so it's not as sensitive and it's a little less intense, the steering isn't as intense. Go over to sport mode, which is normal mode. So sport mode is kind of like a step up um, from beginner mode, obviously it's normal mode. That stiffens everything up a little bit more, uh, makes it a little bit more sensitive, but you don't notice a whole lot. If you go into Corsa mode, you notice that Corsa is race mode uh, on a Lamborghini, and on this is the advanced mode. So when you go into Corsa, it's very sensitive. The ride is very, like when you lean back and forth, it's really stiff. You don't have to lean very far to get a response out of it. So it requires a little bit less effort, if you'll call it that. And the steering sensitivity goes way up too, and that unlocks the full speed potential of it, I guess if that's what you want to call it. In case you didn't believe me when I said that the audio on the GoPro is really bad, this is all you can hear. Okay, heading over to more of the uh, advanced settings in the app. You go into the settings and you can change, there's actually a lot of settings surprisingly, you can change the name of the Bluetooth device if you want to name it like it's a certain name, uh, so when it shows up on your phone, people know what it is. You can change the password so not everybody can access it. You have to type in a password before you can connect to it. Switch between miles per hour and kilometers per hour. There's a speed limiter. If you don't want to go the top speed, you, it can range anywhere from 4 to 9 miles per hour. The driving force is kind of the same thing. Uh, as I was talking about before, it makes 
um, this, the sensitivity go up basically when you lean back and forth on it. So that kind of goes back to the Corsa, Strata, and Sport modes that I was talking about earlier. Uh, the other settings at the bottom, you can choose to switch off the ignition sound if you want to. That's when you turn it on and it makes the, the engine noise, which is, I will admit, kind of loud. So if you are trying to ride it at night and not wake up your neighbors, I recommend you turn that off. Just a uh, suggestion there. Um, you can have an auto shutdown time, so if you accidentally leave it on, it'll turn off after a certain point to save battery. Uh, system information just goes over the specs of it, the firmware version that it's running on, and different details like that. And then uh, self-check. The app can run a diagnosis on the hoverboard and attempt to detect any flaws or errors if there's something wrong with it. I'm not quite sure what this is, but it's called uh, called Sports. Uh, I want to. I don't want to call it track telemetry because that's not at all what it is, but it can time you if you want to race somebody. This app actually, uh, you can sign up for an account to unlock more features. So I'm guessing that has to do something with racing your friends and like trying to set top speed records, stuff like that. I don't really know because I haven't dug that deep into it. There's also a challenges button like I was just talking about. You have to sign in you can either log in with facebook or make a whole new uh, account under an email i didn't do that but i'm guessing that that also incorporates some different things you can do with your friends and so forth like that okay that just about wraps it up i'm sorry that i had to uh i had to switch back here but I'm, i promise that you enjoyed this audio more than the gopro audio so let's switch back to the other scene now. Okay, now I can say my lines. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing and liking this video and recommending it to others. If you want and more information on this product, the link will be in the description below. As always, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.